Friday lunchtime in the centre of Glasgow. This was a chaotic, harrowing scene. Armed police officers rushed to the Park Inn. Inside the hotel, they shot a man dead, but not before a number of people had been stabbed. Witnesses heard at least one shot fired and spoke of a blood-strewn scene. When I went down, uh, about to take the lift, the lift, inside the lift, it was covered with blood. So I did not take the lift and I went down to the stairs. When I went down to the stairs, uh, that's where I saw the whole reception area was covered with blood. So what happened was uh, I saw that uh, one of the reception got stabbed and he was lying behind the desk of the reception, behind the receptionist's desk. He was lying and he was uh, gasping for air. Witnesses spoke of stab victims inside and outside the building. Paramedics in protective suits treated casualties on the pavement. We kind of just heard everything and looked out the window and um, within a few minutes went downstairs to see what was actually happening. We could, I could see someone lying on a curb, but I wasn't sure whether they'd been hit with a break or something like that. And then when we saw them on the, on the steps, uh, they were bleeding from, from the torso and uh, fortunately lost their life. Police said the six people injured included a 42-year-old male police officer taken to hospital with stab wounds and in a critical condition. As armed officers left the scene, Police Scotland ruled out terrorism as a factor and issued a statement on events inside the Park Inn and those involved. Officers were on the scene within two minutes and armed officers shortly afterwards and the incident was quickly contained. A man was shot by armed police and has subsequently died. Six other men are in hospital for treatment, including a 42-year-old police officer who is in a critical but stable condition. The Park Inn is one of a number of hotels in this city used to house asylum seekers and refugees since the start of the coronavirus pandemic. Campaigners on their behalf have long complained that they have been living in intolerable conditions which were having a significant impact on their mental health. This has been a, a dreadful afternoon for uh, the city of Glasgow, um, particularly for those who have been directly involved, those injured obviously, but there will have been people who witnessed uh, this afternoon, particularly in the location uh, of this incident, uh, quite horrific events. And uh, I think I will not be alone uh, across Scotland uh, tonight in thinking of everybody who has in any way been affected by what unfolded. Investigations into what happened here will continue long after the scene here has cleared. Those inquiries are for the longer term. The more immediate concern is coming to terms with the carnage that unfolded on this city centre street.